afternoon folks. Dog Walker with you. We're down in Colbrookdale, Telford. Down by the actual Coal Brook itself. You wouldn't think so, but the little the brook you can see there. I was going to say stream, but it's actually a brook. But uh, you wouldn't think that that little thing was the one that uh, has caused the the floods at Dale End here in Colbrookdale, um, Telford, over over recent days. Today is the twentieth of uh, February, two thousand and twenty. We're just going to follow the the brook up a bit. Right, so we're heading up towards actual Colbrookdale itself. Nice old building, which I believe is called Rose. Rose Cottage or Rose House. Right. There's a bit of a picnic area here. And we, we'll pick up the brook again in this picnic area right here we are here we go look so like I said we picked up the the brook again And this is the um, the widest part of it, and it isn't normally this wide, but due to all the rain we've had from Storm Dennis, uh, that's why we've had all these problems in the local area with the River Seven bursting its bank banks, sorry, and. Um, this brook, you wouldn't think so, would you? And the uh, the coal brook, I believe, is part of the the watercourse, the Colbrookdale watercourse, which um, used to be used to supply. Um, local businesses as in furnaces and forges and what have you and the iron works right. see look see how narrow it is there surprising isn't it what can happen when water backs up right Okay, let's just go over here. I believe this building is the old forge. And if I'm right in saying, I'm sure there's a old water wheel behind that fence in the distance there sadly we can't see it anyway so I think from here I think the brook actually goes under the road 
but obviously we're walking upstream so we're walking against the water right so I'm going to cross over here and I'm sure you'll be able to hear what I'm going to take and take you and see you can hear that rushing water Right, so we've come from over there. Um, like I said, I'm sure the uh, the brook comes round the back, around the back of that building there, which is the old forge. Well, I'm not 100% sure, but let's go and have a look. <coughs> oh, excuse me. What I'll do, I'll put the, uh, um, I'll put the computer on later on when I get on, and uh, I'll try and find a map of which way it actually goes. But as you can hear, right. You can see it gushing down there. See now, look how much water's coming down there. Let's go around the other side and see if I can see anything better. No, I don't think I can. Right, anyway. As you've seen, it's all coming down that direction. It's coming down. Sally, will you stop pulling, please? Right. It's coming down from that direction and down into the corner there. And uh, I'm assuming it goes under here. Over that direction somewhere over there somewhere but another thing I want to show you while I'm down here is let's go up here I won't tell you but locals will recognize these two pillars that one and that one there so, I just want to go up here for a start and see where these steps actually take us to. Let's see what actually happens when we go up these steps. But where I want to go and show you in a minute is up that direction. Right, okay, sorry about that. Oh, all they do is bring you a bit further up to look at the water. But the old Colbergdale Ironworks and the Arge is just up there, so... Excuse me, folks. 
right, like I said, the, the Arge and the old Colbertdale Company are up that direction. And then there's another pool up the top there, it, which is called, I think it's called Upper Pool Ford or Upper Forge Pool or I'd be lying if I said but what I'll do I'll try and find a map online and I'll put it in the uh, comments section under the video when I upload it to YouTube later right anyway so that's the Cold Brook and uh, the water course of Colbrookdale. Right, let's go back down. Let's go back down these steps. Right. Okay, we're going up here. I'll tell you what, I'm gonna I'm gonna pause you for a minute and I'm gonna loose her off the lead. Right folks, as you can see, she's off the lead now. She was pulling a bit, I think she was bored being on the lead to be honest. If I look to the left, if I look to the left over the other side of the road there, that's the uh, picnic area we, we was at earlier on. Come on, Sal. Come on. Come on. Come on, Sal. See, look, she's a lot happier now. Right, okay, it's only a short distance up here where, is, where I'm taking you to. I'm sure we're lo uh, the locals who watch this video will, will know what it is. Right, oh, hang on. Bring you back in a minute, folks. Right, I'm back. Sorry about that, I had to uh, clean up. Right. Nearly there, nearly there. Oh, blow my neck. That sun's strong. Shining in my eyes. Right, up here. Okay then, folks. This is where I wanted to bring you. If you look through the trees there, you can see the old Colbrookdale Station, railway station. Right. And it used to have two platforms. One the opposite side. And one this side. 
as you can see there's still some of the brickwork and at the moment this line is disused so come on Sal and she comes having a nose all right let's see if I can get a better a better look at it Right, before we go and have a see if I can find that a better look at the station let's just see where she's going never been down here before oh Sal come on come on up no not going down that way it's a bit steep for today anyway I'll come and have an, another look another time but as you can see there's quite a few bricks lying about and different bits of brickwork. Here yeah, I'll look again. Alright, so the other platform would have been here somewhere, like I said. There's the uh, brickwork. And, uh, like I say, more brickwork there, which looks like the edge of the old platform. I'm not 100% sure, but... Right, Sal, come on. Right, let's go back on ourselves a bit and see... See, there's a... A load more brickwork. Let's just see if I can scramble up this bank. Loads of brickwork there. Right. I'm going to scramble up there, so I'll bring you back in a minute. Right, we're back. There you go, folks. There's a better look. Like I said, that is uh, Colbrookdale Railway Station. That was. can't see any of the actual edge of the platform like you can over that side look see right then that's it for this one folks Colbrookdale station bye for now Take care.